Hey guys, Miss Dragon here, and welcome back to the quarry. So let's continue on with chapter three. Trouble in paradise. Stupid game. What are we in middle school? Why should I even care? Anybody can kiss anybody. Stupid. Stupid. Great. Where the hell am I? Okay, so. <laughs> we are in the middle of the woods. Can we go back this way? I wonder how. Well, oh. Wait. What? Do I want to do this? Yeah, let's call back. Nick! Abby? Shout again! I'm over here! Coming! Coming! Nick! Hey. Hey. Um. Hi. You, uh. You ran off. I wonder what would happen if I went the other way. Hmm. Oh well. <laughs> okay, uh, let's be honest. I think that game just got a little too intense for me. I... Yeah, I know what you mean. Um, let's be cautious, I guess. So, all that stuff back there. Oh my gosh. Emma really wanted to make Jacob jealous, huh? You think? I mean, yeah, why the heck else would she kiss me like that? True. I was just playing along. Yeah. It's just a game, right? Right. Sure, let's kiss. <laughs> ah, young love. We look. Growling. It's no boar. <laughs> Is it a bear? It's too fast. Bears are pretty fast, though. Run! Hello. <gasps> uh oh. Oh, 
Uh, help Nick. Maybe. Oh my god. Maybe this is a bad idea. Oh, oh no. Okay, so she runs off either way. Okay. Um, let's... I don't think it matters, so let's hide. <laughs> We're gonna have to run anyways, so... Um, I don't see a point in climbing the tree, so we're not going to climb the tree. Just keep running. Keep running, Abby. not. <sighs> All right. <laughs> Jacob. Emma personally, but yeah. <laughs> Technique needs work. Hey. Uh, yeah. I guess you found that. Of course. <sighs> Sneaking down here was a little more fun when we thought we could get caught, huh? Yeah, yeah, I guess. Jacob, I thought we agreed that this, us, was just supposed to be some summer fun. Yeah, no, no. I know, I just... You just love having an audience, huh? Oh, Jacob. I mean, you. I can't believe you, like, you fucking Frenched him! You know, in front of everyone! Jesus wept! French, are we 12? No, but Nick is. Kind of. You know, I love the guy, but I don't think he's actually ever seen a girl naked before. Well, I hate to break it to you, but he just had his tongue down my throat, and he definitely knew what to do with it. <laughs> you you really love fucking with me, huh? Lighten up, Sarapus, please. This is not how the night was supposed to go. What? You know what? Nothing. No Nothing. Never mind. Fine. You can stand here, sulking. Driving yourself crazy imagining Nick's tongue in my mouth. Ah! Oh, or... 
You can go grab us some towels. What do you need towels for? Well, we agreed. Some are fun, right? Apparently, summer is not quite over. We're going swimming, guys. Okay. Oh my god. Lovely, isn't it? It's just super weird looking. Please don't lose that, Jacob. Okay. Let's have a... Oh, oh, oh! Tarot found! The star! Oh, it's the star. Stars in the night sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope. Purpose. Or a reminder of our insignificant fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity and sometimes proof. Awesome. So we got our first tarot of this episode. Uh, I'm assuming it's the only tarot card for this episode. What else can we look at? Four oh, months on hikers. Not long ago. Still missing. Uh, a, 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 a recent newspaper article about two hikers who went missing in these woods. As of the date of publication, they haven't been found. Wonder if it was near here. Definitely. All right, let's read. The search continues. Oh, the North Kill Gazette, April 26, 2021. The search continues for Anne Radcliffe and Edward Benson, pictured above, who were reported missing four months ago after they failed to return from a camping trip. Despite multiple thorough searches of the areas, surrounding North Kill authorities have been unable to recover any evidence that the two hikers were ever there in the first place. Though a small number of conspiratorialists suggest their disappearance could be some sort of government cover-up, most speculate that they fell victim to an animal attack, possibly a bear or cougar. Local wildlife expert Helen Pratt, however, is certain this isn't the case, as there are too many inconsistencies when compared with the history of documented attacks. Though it doesn't happen often, when a bear does attack a human, there are usually quite obvious signs left behind blood, remains, or torn clothes and belongings. Helen went on to suggest an alternative fate for the missing hikers. The local area could be treacherous if not properly traversed. It's far more likely that Benson and Radcliffe were washed into fast-moving rapids. The families of the missing pair, on the other hand, dismissed their speculations, adamant that Anne and Ed were experienced hikers who always prepared for any eventuality when out on trails. They remain hopeful that Anne and Edward are still alive and well, and urge anyone who may have seen them to reach out and get in touch with any information they may have. Ooh. Remember those bags we saw? Could it be? Oh, what's this? No swimming without supervision. A handmade sign warning people off swimming near the boathouse. How dangerous can a lake be? I wonder. Do we have any more? No. Connections? Yeah, we'll see about that. <laughs> Alright, nothing else special about that. Can we look from here? No. Should we talk to Emma before we continue our search? You know what? Let's go talk to Emma. See if she has anything to say. Aside from Jacob, hurry up and get those towels. I don't have all day. Found her? No. I guess you're gonna get all cold and trivially, aren't you? Well, just give me a minute. Look upstairs. Okay. 
Thanks for the ammo. 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 <laughs> Info, Emma. Oh boy. Anything to look at? Doesn't look like it. I wonder how far away we can go. I don't really want to wander off too far. So let's go back to the other... Is there anything under the stairs? No, can't even go under them. So I'll go back to the other side and see if we can find anything over there with all the tables and chairs. Is that a bag? Bag of chips? An empty bag of chips? Oh, something here. What do we have here? Jacket and thacket, huh? Uh, uh. Oh, well, jacket must mean Mr. H. Chris Hackett. A uh, faded camp photograph from the 1970s. According to the names printed below, two of the boys in the picture appear to be Hackett's. Who the hell is Thacket? It's uh, the cop. I don't even remember his name. It's probably like Theodore or Thomas. Is it Thomas? I don't remember. <laughs> we'll go with that. Alright, we could use a flashlight out here though. It's very dark. Is there anything to look at out here? I don't see anything. I wonder if I can go over here. Hmm. <gasps> There's something over here. <sighs> Looks like somebody didn't put their oars away. Still wet. Oh, someone just came back. Interesting. All right, we're going to check on the other side because there might be something over there. This is exciting. I like finding odd things. Okay, it doesn't actually look like there's something over here, so. It's also very, very dark. So let's head up. Stairs. So I feel like the more stuff you find, the better. Whether it's for the ending or just um, general story progress for your characters, like putting two and two together kind of thing. Still. Okay, so there's no towels. But let's have a peek at this stuff first. Hmm. What are these numbers? Well, let's have a look and we'll find out. Boathouse logbook. Um, 1. 1203 2016. 2. 2409 2017. 3. 0311 2019. 5 2901 2021 manageable but unsustainable sailing rules rules reminder for counselors keep all boats rinsed after use be vigilant no swimming properly store boats to avoid damage all campers must wear life jackets if boats capsize remove kits from lake immediately do not jump in after them sail over and retrieve from water Ooh, what are we hiding Something over here. Oh, binoculars. Where's the tree house? Oh, there it is. Oh, is somebody oh. prowling? Someone out there. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna go with probably everything's fine. Yes, you keep telling yourself that, Jacob. Can we just look again? Wonder if something else will happen if we look. See, now the light's out. That's odd. No 
still swimming. Emma's still standing there. Doesn't seem to be anything else to look at. No. Okay. Very, very interesting. So now we can have a look. What are you looking at, Jacob? Anyways. You can see that there's no towels. Because why would there be? Camp's supposed to be closed. There's no towels. None? There's exactly zero. You dick. What the hell? Get back down here, Jacob. <laughs> Show text. It's just gonna say towels. Yeah. Show text. Hey, what's this? Can we not look at this? Uh, structure. Okay. I don't know. It's probably just how to row a boat. Or whatever. I always wonder if there's new clues. Like, after something happens like this. So now if there would be new clues down here. But I'm gonna assume new. Oh, she's already stripped. Okay, well, I guess we could just like drip dry or I mean, you could shake it out doggy style. Wow, you really know how to talk to a girl, don't you? <laughs> Look, you can't just pretend that it didn't happen. Oh, but I can, because you see, oh, help, help, I'm, I'm drowning, and I, I need a big, strong, not at all insecure man to come save me. <laughs> <sighs> I don't know. I don't know what to do with these two. Um, let's just, let's be enthusiastic. Okay, whatever. Okay. What's this? A oh female in need? Fear not, fragile thing, for Hurricane Jake is here! Cannonball! <laughs> oh, oh, oh. Cold, cold, cold. Oh, cold. Oh. <laughs> Hurricane Jake? <sighs> oh, okay. Okay, now you're gonna get it. See? <clears throat> <laughs> the water looks so goofy. Hey, quit it! <laughs> oh, stop being a uh, grump! Add ah, splasher. Uh, attack! <laughs> Dick move. Um, should we be sentimental? I don't know. I don't know. Let's let's be. Uh, let's. I don't know. Let's be sentimental. Why not? Look, I don't want this to end. Hmm. I'd be happy to stay out here all summer, but I think we'd get a little prune. Oh, you know what I mean. Like, like this. Jacob, I had a great summer with you. Well, it doesn't just have to be this summer. <laughs> Jacob. Okay, oh, look, how about this? Um, <clears throat> if I can do a backflip off of here, you let me come visit you, okay? How about that? Right. Hey! Where are you going? Come on! <laughs> I guess that was a bad choice? I don't know. Huh? Oh shit, the 
Frodo. Oh, gotta be fucking kidding me. Uh, yeah, why did you take it swimming? We're, we're going, we're sorry, we're going back for that thing. Sorry, Abby, she'll be okay. Hopefully. Pretty much. Jacob? Ugh, dick. Oh my god, he's underwater, calm down. All right. First off, like, okay, well, ow. But where did he have that thing stored? In his underwear? And why did he go swimming with it? Leave it with your clothes. Go get it. Grab. Bloated corpse. Evidence collected. A bloated decomposing corpse chained to the bottom of the lake. So we have what? Two pieces? Yeah, we have two pieces of evidence. The torn bags and the bloated corpse. And I guess we missed some evidence somewhere. Probably in chapter one. Uh don't know what it is. Don't know where it is. Let's detangle. There. Because the second you start pulling, you shred your arm to pieces. Barbed wire. If that's supposed to be barbed wire, it's not a fun thing to deal with. Okay, well now we can at least escape in the car, right? Probably. Hey guys, editing Miss Dragon here. Apparently, you cannot keep the rotor arm. You lose it, no matter what. So it's lost. Too bad. All right, we are at the fire pit with Ryan. Ah. Ryan, Dylan, and Caitlin. That was some mighty fine social disruption there, Caitlin, I have to say. Ah, or was it just the nudge that Abby needed? You're an evil genius. <laughs> is she, though? Who do you think is going to make the first move? Nick or Abby? Ooh, good cue. My bet's on either. I don't know. Nick's got the beast in him. <laughs> uh, if by beast you mean some sort of mild-mannered baby deer. Hey, don't let the cute preppy aesthetic fool you. It's like a steel barbecue grill under that shirt. Oh my god. <laughs> so, you noticed that too, huh? So, what do you guys want to do now? We can keep playing. Yeah? Just the three of us? Alright, Dylan. This should get Truth or... Uh, or not. Like Abby. Oh my gosh. Uh, we gotta help her. <laughs> Wait, where did it come from? This way. Dylan, are you okay? Abby! Help! Please! Nick! Help him! Uh, what happened? Hey! What happened? Abby, what happened? Brian! Uh, we maybe that was... So she needs help. Give her a second. Sorry. Go after Nick! Go! Uh, okay, we've got this. Okay, I've got this. I have to sneeze. That shotgun's got a hell of a spread. Be careful. Okay, I went away. <laughs> Hang on, I think I have to sneeze again. <laughs> okay, all right. I think it'll be okay. It's okay, Abby. I'll go save Nick. Or at least try. Run, Ryan, run! Let's go! Not that we know where he is. Okay. Take shortcut. 
Look at him go. Let's go, Ryan. Dang. One more. Oh, no, I screwed up. No. Dang it. It's W. You got this, Ryan. I'm so bad at this. Wow. I thought it was an up, not a, not a side. I got ahead of myself. Dang. Take shortcut. Let's not mess up this time. Is it another up? Nope. Tricky, tricky they are. Okay, well, we got that one. My goodness. This is the most QTEs there have been in this game. Okay. Oh, my nose itches. A uh, shout? Hey! Get the fuck off of him! Stop! Stop! I'll shoot! Don't shoot. We're not shooting. We'll, we'll hit Nick! there. Okay, I'm glad we made that in time then. Holy shit, dude. Gotta get, gotta get, we gotta go. Can walk. Can, come on, gotta go. Come on, let's get back to the fire. Yeah, so I'm thinking if you had shot, you probably would have hit Nick. Because remember, the shotgun has, this, has one hell of a spread. As Caitlin would say. So, back to Jacob. Stupid, stupid, stupid. Oh, God. <clears throat> no, game, don't do this to me. Please be nice. That wasn't terrible. I think it's. Yeah. Oh, Jesus. There's a half naked girl waiting for you back there, Jacob. What are you doing? Uh, <sighs> okay. <sighs> yeah, leaving him all, all alone in the lake. It's all good. Okay. <sighs> that is a boy. <laughs> Don't call out. We're not calling out. Stay silent. No. Okay, and he calls out anyways? Jacob, that's how you die. Ah! Ah, what? You can do it, Jacob. Shit! My god. <laughs> He's very excited. Fuck! Good evening. Oh, come on. Uh, 
let's just be pleading. Oh, please, please, man, just, just let me down, okay? Just don't hurt me, please. Yeah, don't threaten the uh, big dude who can't Oh, Jesus Christ, you. what the fuck are you doing? He's just gonna cut the rope. Fuck! Ah, oh, oh, son of a bitch! Ah, <laughs> ah. Oh, what are you doing? Shh. Quiet. No, no, just, just let him. Helps if you close your eyes. Oh, oh, what are you doing? Shh. Stop. Help. Shh. Help. Tastes bad, don't it? It's for your own good. <laughs> Where are you off to now, girly? Theory time. Whatever that blood what mixture fuck? is keeps the werewolf the creature fuck? things away. That is what I think. Oh, look, a boar. I wonder what would happen if you called out. Oh, we're at the end already. Wow, that was short. That was a short chapter. Seems like just a blink and you're back to see me again. Yes, hello. So, then. We are s What have we got? It's the star. Hmm. Hmm. Stars. Stars in the night. Sky. Beacons of light. Dreams of hope. Purpose. Or a reminder of our insignificance. Fear of despair. Trust in the light of the star. With it comes clarity. And sometimes proof. Remember, there's always more than meets the eye. Would you like me to show you? Yes, please. Back to it then. Back to Hackett's Quarry. Back to Hackett's Quarry you go. Oh, the fun you'll have. Yes. We'll have lots of fun. Alright, and that brings us to the end of Chapter 3. Next time, we'll continue on to Chapter 4. But, that is it for this time. I thank you all for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Make sure you like, subscribe, and all that jazz, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!